Okay, welcome back to Hangar 51. So we're going to continue on with the, uh, this is good and dry now, the, the uh, wall spackle. So we're going to start sanding it. And we're also going to sand uh, where I steamed out the damage here. It was right here. Okay, so this is all gated right now. So I'm going to sand out that. So let's let's work on that first. So we got nice clean sandpaper here, and uh, I can so all I'm trying to do now is smooth out the gatoring that the steam did to the, everything around the damage. So it's a pretty quick. Doesn't take very long to sand the, the little bit of gatoring out of the foam here. It looks like there's just a tiny bit of the damage still there. Just a tiny little bit. Okay, so can you see the difference there between so the side I just sanded here right here I still have to sand here can you see the difference where it's it's, it's kind of hard to see in this maybe if I get a little closer here. Yeah. Yeah, you can see most of the gatoring is gone here now because I sanded that. And then but you can still see the gatoring over here. Okay, so let's work on that side too. Flip this around. Now you gotta you gotta be careful here because we are working with um, it's the wing is not flat here it's got a roll in it okay you know each, each these are simulated ribs so it's got a roll here and a roll here and a roll here you know and so you have to sand it and you gotta be careful not to sand the rolls. You now the the rib the, the fake ribs out of it. You know you want to keep those in there. So you got to be careful you don't sand on the top of the point there. You you got to just kind of sand up to it. But you don't want to sand on on the point. You want to keep that you know as as much as you can. You want to keep that that simulated rib there. So you really just kind of stay off the top of it. And you, you just sand it until you're satisfied with it. It's not, you know, I'm not going to try to make this perfect. There's other hanger rash on this wing I'm not going to fix. I'm just doing this to demonstrate how to fix when you steam something out. You know what what you do to get it back you know looking good I need some window cleaner windex something to just to clean off the foam and my my steamer actually steamed over here a little bit too so we'll we'll just smooth that back out a little bit all 
right. So there's that's where the damage was on that rib right there, where you can just see that little line. It's kind of dirty right there, but that indentation's gone. Okay, it's you know, and, and we can sand on that a little more, but basically we fixed it. That's gone. So we're on. Uh, we're good enough on that. Um, okay. Sorry about that. All right, so moving on, let's uh, we'll start sanding on the uh, the uh, wall spackle. Now we're starting off with the 220, but we're not going to finish with the 220. I'm just going to knock it down, get it you know close to where we want it to be with the 220, and then we'll we'll give a finer sandpaper to finish it off. Right now, I just want to knock down the high stuff. I'm going to try to stay out of the black paint for now because I don't want to transfer that into the putty. top edge here. This stuff sands really easy too. This is this is just like the the gorilla glue. It sands super easy. And it's it's real easy to go too far too fast. So just take your time. Don't get too crazy. I'm just doing a very, very light touch here. We're not sanding hard. I'm just trying to knock down the, the heavy stuff. bottom here. Same thing guys. You don't want to I'm going to try to stay off the black because if I get black in the sandpaper, it's going to drag it into the white. I don't want to drag the black into the white, so I'm trying to stay off the black paint as much as possible right now. I'm going to have to get to it eventually, but when I get to the, to the black edges here, I'll probably just concentrate right there on the edge with a separate different piece of sandpaper and keep working this with a clean sheet. So we keep the white white, and I don't want to, not that it's going to matter, I'm probably going to put gray primer over it anyway, but I just like to keep it a little cleaner if I can. Um, just saves extra work in the, you know, later on. If there's no reason to drag the black into the white, then I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible. Can't always be, you know, it, it sometimes just it is what it is, but 
right now I've got plenty to sand off here where I don't have to drag any of the black into the white. I can just just work on the the putty right now. Get it down close. And then we'll we'll probably get finer sandpaper to go farther. Right now I'm just trying to get it all the excess putty off. Get it smoothed out. Now you guys might be thinking, well, why don't I use a sanding block? Hey, there's nothing wrong with using a sanding block. If you want it absolutely perfect, you know, absolutely use a sanding block. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I just don't think this repair is going to require anything quite that precise. I think hand sanding it's going to work out just fine. Very light touch. We're still using the 220 sandpaper. This is just dry paper. This is not. Um, this isn't wet dry. It's just dry dry sandpaper. Nothing fancy. You know the cheap stuff. That's all you need. You don't need any real expensive croakers cloth or wet dry sandpaper. I mean you can use it. It'll work, but. You don't need to spend the extra money for that. This is fine. We're certainly not going to wet sand this wall spackle. It might uh, it might just loosen it back up, turn it back into a not a liquid, but a it might soften it up. We don't want to do that. Right now there's enough putty over here that I can sand over here and I'm not going to get into the black because there's just too much white putty we got to sand down. So we're really not in, invading the black yet. We're just trying to knock this down. a slight edge right here where the glue was and it may have sucked down into there a little bit we're probably going to have to put a slight bit of putty right there the primer paint might do the job when we spray a little primer on here it might uh, fill that in I think I might just get some white primer instead of the gray so that way the, the part of the wing that's white I won't have to try to spray white paint back over the gray primer I can spray I, I might not have to spray the white at all 
if the white primer looks good enough, you might just leave that alone. And then I'll have to shoot the black where the black goes. Still a lot of, especially right here, there's a lot of putty right here yet. Let me, let me just concentrate around here. Get this knocked down. All right, we're getting real close. This is we've got it knocked down just about as far as I want to take it with this 220. We're gonna switch over to something a little finer, maybe 320, 400, maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll just see what I have in paper hanging around here. Go from there. I'm going to switch cameras here for a minute. I think uh, I think the view here might be a little better from the other camera. So let me uh, let me switch that for a minute here. Okay. So we're looking here. We got that pretty straight now, crossed here. All right, and I can get you pretty close in here. So now you can see we're getting pretty close to the repair. You can start to see the repair through the, you know, through the 
the filler. So that's that's when we we know we're getting close. We don't want to go all the way to the repair. You want to keep it, you know, that light coat in between the <clears throat> because if it if you could if you sand it to the point where you can see the re the, uh, the repair in the you know if you sand right to the repair then it's going to show up when you paint it so you don't want to sand right to the repair you want to make sure you have that that feather off on all the sides so you don't have that crisp line because that will show up when you go to paint it especially with black so you definitely don't want to sand it all the way to the repair you want to you want to leave that little thin you know over overlay and just you know you want to feather that out And you'll get a when I when I put the primer on it, you'll get a better look at. Well, probably not because the primer will be white. Um, but when I shoot the black on it, because black shows everything, you're going to be able to see whether or not there's any um, any any evidence of the repair. You're not you're not going to see it in white. I can tell you right now, it won't show up in the white. But when I shoot the black, if I didn't get it perfectly smooth, it's going to show up in the black. So that'll be the real test. Because black's the worst. So, if, if it doesn't show up in the black, then I, I did a really good job. Because black shows everything. Okay, so we're going to stop right there till I get some uh, better sandpaper to finish it up. But as you can see, we're uh, we're pretty close here. All right, let me. Uh, oh. All right, so there's a good hard edge right here. Let me let me sand that off real quick. Get that knocked down right there. Quite a bit of putty in that one spot right there. We'll just get that packed in. Yeah, I know that's not exciting, guys. But again, I just want you to see the process. And I want you thinking that uh, the end result is, oh, here, here's the finished repair, and I go get a different wing. And I'll tell you, I have a second one of these airplanes. I have two of these, so yeah, I do have another wing. But I'm not going to use the other wing and trick you into say, oh, here's the repair, and it's the other wing. No, you're going to see it right here. So no, no uh, Kenny foolery here. You're going to see it for sure. I'll spray the uh, primer on camera while you watch, and I'll spray the black paint on camera while you watch. There ain't going to be any uh, trickery going on here, guys. This is this is the real deal here. All right. 
that's pretty good. All right, so we're going to stop right here. I'll get some other sandpaper, and we'll come back and finish this up. But right now it's looking really, really good. That's coming out really nice. It's nice and smooth. Let me switch cameras back for just a second. Okay. It's coming out really good. There's there's the one repair. The other one's buried pretty good. You can't even see that repair. That's the glue repair there. And this is the that that's the uh, gorilla glue. You can see through there. You see how you can just barely see it through the See, we don't want to sand that all the way down. We want to leave that you know that 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 thin coat of the of the putty over the repair. We don't want to sand it right down. All right, and then the other one's there. That's the glue repair there. So we're getting pretty close. All right, 